hate cancer. I was like, who am I doing? <laughs> cancer babies. I'm so sorry. I didn't forget you. Cancer. What do we have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising. Or if you're dealing with a cancer. You can cross watch. Let's see what's going on for cancer babes. If you have Pisces in your chart, you definitely want to watch that reading. That was an amazing reading. Okay, we got Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm immediately getting that this is for people that are dealing with a third party situation. If you're a Cancer dealing with somebody that is with another person or you're with another person and you have somebody on the side this is for you six of cups and hangman okay yep so this is what i'm getting cancer there's someone here that is dealing with another person but wants to be with you. Okay. I feel like this is somebody from your past that still thinks about you a lot. They've, they've either moved on to someone else or they've been with someone else. You could currently be connecting. Some of you guys are actually still dealing with each other while they are in another connection there's Pisces energy here so it could be a Pisces like I was just talking about the Pisces reading hmm this is a complicated situation it it looks messy it looks sticky it looks complicated some of you this person is married some of you this person is in a relationship with someone else some of you, they're seeing other people. You guys are dating around. There's definitely an outside influence that is coming between the two of you right now. But this person wants you. I am getting that. Like, they want to be with you. They think about you all the time. The magician... Two of Swords, Knight of Cups, what are they doing? Queen of Cups, there's you. What are they doing? This person is making this complicated or making it harder than it has to be. Or they're not making decisions that need to be made. Okay, I feel irritation here. You guys might be irritated with them. Or this could be you. The energy could be reversed. The roles can be reversed. And you're in a third party. Or you need to make a decision that you're not making. And they're getting irritated with you. But whoever is waiting on the other person. Is getting irritated. <laughs> frustrated. They're getting emotional about the fact that this third party. Is causing so many issues. Someone is getting mad about this third party and the fact that nothing's being done about it. Okay, I feel like most of you, that's you. You're like, you need to do something about this situation. You want this person to fix the situation and they're not fixing it. They're not making a move. I feel like things have been stagnant. Things have not gone the way you want. This person's not acting right. They're not doing what you want. They're delaying things or they're they're purposefully like kind of stringing you along or keeping things delayed. They're distracted. They're not making this a priority this connection with you and you want them to I can see that there's frustration that they're not they're not making things happen the way that you are expecting them to and 
I feel like it's getting you in your feelings. You feel like you're putting in more effort or that you're more serious about things. You feel like you're more in this or some of you guys aren't even sure like if this person has the same feelings as you. You feel like there's an imbalance here. This person has a toxic connection to something. Strength. It is a strong connection between the two of you. Leo energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All of those are coming through. Lots of people here. There's too many people involved. There's too much, it's too messy, you guys. And I feel like you're anxious because you don't know what's going to happen next because they're like, there's no plan or this person like isn't doing what they need to do. And it's making you really anxious how long you've been waiting for a lot of you. Like you've been waiting too long for this person to do the right thing or come correct with you or leave the person that they're with. Like I said, if you're the one that is with someone else, the person that is on the side is getting antsy about you not leaving the person you're with. There's a connection to school here for some of you. Your kids could go to the same school or you guys went to the same school or you could have gone to the same school in the past. King of Pentacles, there's a lot of people here. Five of Cups. Someone is really dissatisfied with the way the situation is going because there's too much interference from outsiders. Like, someone here wants it to just be you and them dealing with each other. Like, you want it to just be you and this person and you don't want to deal with the third party anymore. Or they want it to just be you and them and they don't want to deal with your third party anymore. It's getting frustrating. It feels like one of you is stable and the other one is causing a major imbalance because they're not, they're procrastinating. They're delaying moving things forward and making things official and stable between the two of you. And it's, but whoever, one the one that is like, waiting for things to be stable and waiting for the third party to be released doesn't want to walk away it's like it feels like it's worth the wait i'm gonna keep waiting and see i can't give up now or i can't let go i can't walk away so i'm just gonna keep waiting is what i'm feeling It's worth, it, it, it is worth waiting for, but it's, there's resentment building about it. I definitely feel like the person that is waiting is starting to get very resentful and tired of waiting. Feeling like I'm wasting, like, am I wasting my time? There's like this question mark, like, I really hope I'm not wasting my time. Don't ever wait for someone. If it's you guys that's waiting, don't put yourself on hold while someone else is off doing other things. Don't do that. Spirit's like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't stay stuck upside down. I, it's easier said than done, but... Mm, it feels like this person is going to drag things out longer if the more patient you are. It's like you have to get impatient and like assertive about this. If you're the one wanting this person to change the situation, then you need to be more assertive about it. Like some of you aren't speaking up enough about how like I'm sick of this this person thinks you're gonna wait around forever seven of pentacles mm. 
one of you is very dissatisfied and it's building resentment it's it's causing like damage that can't be undone with the third party here so it's like a decision needs to be made one of you needs to like I feel like you need to take control of the situation the person watching it's time for you to take control of the situation and make the decision yourself if you're the one with the third party and you want to be with this other person, it's time for you to like walk away from the third party, cut that off for good, and choose this other person, or they're going to end up... I feel like it's like just building up. The pressure is building up and things are going to break eventually if no move is made soon. And it's like you have control of the situation. The person watching, the spirit wants you to know, like, make a move yourself. Take control of the situation. Put your foot down. Cut off what needs to be cut off. End something that needs to end. Yeah, there's a person in this situation. I feel like it's the third party for most of you that is like very sneaky manipulative some of you it's it's their ex You're still talking to their ex we have initials y and x coming through their first or last name also, W, first and last name, starting with a W. Yeah, someone needs to get the X. Someone, there's too many people involved here. If it hasn't caused a whole bunch of drama yet, it's going to, if things aren't dealt with soon. Be smart. Spirit wants you to, like, be wise. Listen to your intuition. Follow your gut. There's someone here that is sneaky or very deceptive. They're not who they seem. They're being deceptive. For a lot of you, it's the third party that is like that. They're like dishonest, manipulative, shady. There's like shady communication going on that needs to stop. There's a connection to Scotland here. Aquarius energy. Spirit just keeps talking about like, you have to take control of this situation to get what you want. It's, it's time for you to make a move and do something here. Bring stability to yourself. Express your feelings. Express yourself, be more assertive, put up some boundaries, match this person's energy, don't put in more than what they are. And if it's you that needs to get rid of the third party, the spirit wants you to do that. Work on making things stable here for yourself regardless like what do you want for your future and start putting up boundaries and not settling for anything less stay in your integrity spirit saying I'm getting Wyoming I'm also getting you need to start asking questions some of you guys need to start asking questions There's a person here that's like being careless and sneaky and they're going to cause drama if they haven't already. Dang, Cancer. 
this is, this is a sticky situation is what spirit's talking about and some somebody's energy has got to go well is it going to let's see if you guys end up needing a private reading from this one I do have those available in my Etsy shop two of wands making decisions making plans so finally there is a decision made the fool a new beginning starting over okay so the third party ends up being left eight of cups walking away from the third party there it is leaving the third party and starting something new okay so that's what i'm getting for the prediction of this situation the third party will be released will be cut off will be like blocked walked away from it's gonna happen but for a lot of you it takes you making a move first for that third party situation to get cleared out like you got to make the first move regarding this third party situation for you to have this new beginning where the third party is gone <laughs> you know where the third party is no longer a problem it's like you gotta start that journey okay but you you making a decision first and then the other person is going to be right behind you following your lead all right, when it comes to releasing the third party, they'll follow your lead, clear out that old energy, and then your connection can evolve finally and move forward. Because I feel like it's been stagnant and stuck because the third party is coming between the two of you and causing a delay in your relationship evolving. Like you guys can't move forward together until this person is gone. But then I do see love between the two of you in the future and stability and detaching from that old energy. That person won't have power over this connection anymore because right now I feel like they have too much power over the situation. Okay, Cancer, that is it for you, babes. Bye-bye, third party. <laughs> If you ended up needing a private reading, like I said, I have those available in my Etsy shop. I also have spiritual jewelry if you guys like spiritual bracelets, uh, crystals, things like that. In my Etsy shop, the link is below. And I will see you all at your next reading. Bye, babes.